Okay, good morning everyone. We are going to start a new video today. What I'd like to do today is I would like to um, get a photograph and be able to take things out of the photograph and add things to the photograph and make them look as real as possible. So that is our lesson for today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go open up um, Pixlr Advanced E. And I'd like to create a new picture. I'm going to go a little bit bigger on this one here. Let's go, um, let's go web 720p. And we're going to name this um, photo edit. How about that? Okay, let's create it. Okay, we've got a blank screen here, and what I want to do first is I want to bring in a picture. So I'm going to click on my Add button in the layers right there, and click on Image. And I want to go to the desktop. I've got some images here. Let's see, there it is right there. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'll fill up kind of the whole screen there. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Okay, that's the picture that we're going to start with. And I thought I would start first by getting rid of these guys. We don't like these guys down here. We want to get rid of them. So to do that, what I'm going to do is use the uh, clone stamping tool. What do they call it here? They call it the clone tool. Okay, and I'm going to click on that. Now in Photoshop, what you would do is you would hold down the option key and you'd click somewhere where you want to take your information from. And then you would use the stamping tool to stamp over them. So let me see if I can get this working right here. Oh, make sure I'm on the layer. I'm going to do this again, stamp here. Okay, there we go. What I'm doing is I'm taking information from right below this guy and I'm putting it in here. Okay, so let me do that again. I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to click and then I'm going to click up here. Okay, now you can change the brush sizes also. If you want to change the brush size, you can change that down a little bit or a little bit bigger, depending on what you think you need. So I'm taking information from way over here, and I'm just pasting it over on this guy right here. Okay. So I can go back and, and try to do a little bit more of this if I want to get a little information from right here. Hold the Option key down, and then kind of come down here. Now also I can change the brush type if I want to change the softness more. I could do that. That might help out too. So I hold the option key down and then I can okay and so I've kind of gotten rid of that guy right there. Um, so that's one way of getting rid of these people here and I have a little bit of area that could be a little bit better but I mean it's okay. Um, And I can just kind of come back over here and see what I can do and clean it up a little bit. Okay, so you get the idea. Just hold the option key down, click what where you want to take the information from, and then you can move your um, cursor around and make that happen. Okay, so we've got rid of this guy right here. Now what I want to do is I want to add something. So I'm going to add another picture. Whoops, got a lot of stuff going on today. I think I'll close all those. A lot of things due today. Okay, I'm going to take this airplane. I'm going to add this airplane into the sky. Okay, so first thing I need to do is get rid of this background on this airplane. So to do that, I'm going to use the magic wand again. I'm going to click on the background tier. And notice how, notice how it kind of selected the airplane, but then it's not getting everything. I want to take a good look to select everything right. It's probably okay. Now I can change this right here, the tolerance, if I think I need to. Let me let me deselect. And you do that by doing uh, Command D or Control D. Okay, I can change this tolerance up or down, so I can change it less and click and see what it takes. So I don't want that. Okay, and I can change it higher. Let's say I change it really high. And here it's too much tolerance because it's not taking it's taking everything so i'm going to deselect so what you have to do is you just have to adjust this 
and find out what is going to work best. So let's try this. Okay, I feel pretty good about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just delete it. Okay, and if I didn't get rid of any, I'm going to deselect. I can go back with the eraser. And I might want to make this a little bit bigger too. Oh, looks like my wife sent me a text here, so I probably should look at it. But not until I'm done. We got an airplane to work on here. Okay. So we've got an airplane. Now we need to make it the right size to do that and position it. To do that, Photoshop is the same way. It has a free transform. And if you click on that, you can just make it smaller. I like the free transform. Okay, so I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to throw it right up here. Maybe I'll have it going way right up there. Okay. So I've got my airplane. In Photoshop, it makes you hit return, and then that um, closes the free transform. Um, here, probably would do the same thing. Okay, so um, I've got my airplane up there. Now what I want to do is I want to add another picture. Whoops. That's my Macintosh mouse. It's very sensitive. I need to change the sensitivity or somehow. I'm not sure I can do it. I'm going to add this dog here. And we're going to do the same thing with the dog. We're going to go to the magic wand, click the background, and then we're going to hit delete. And then we're going to click the background over here and hit delete. Click the background here and here. Now, I'm going to deselect by going uh, control D, deselect. If you get these little white outlines around here, let me show you. I don't know if you can see them. Look how I'm um, making this bigger by holding the control and hitting the plus, and I can make it smaller by hitting the minus. So bigger, smaller. And then if I want to move it around, if I hold the um, space bar down and click, I can move it around. Okay. So I've got a little bit of white in here. I'm going to see if I can grab that white out of there. No, I think I did. If you mess up and hit something by accident, just deselect or undo. But I've got a little bit of white along here. If I wanted to, and I'm not going to do it for this demonstration, but if I were turning it in or I did, was doing something real serious, <clears throat> what I might do is I might go around it and clean it up with the eraser. So I could go here and I could clean up the edges with the eraser. And... Sometimes when you have like you're doing people and you have like hair, which is really tough to do, um, you have to go back because when you cut it out, it doesn't look right. So you see I'm cleaning this up, getting rid of this white stuff, and you can change the size of the brush. Um, I can change that down smaller so I can get in there really close. Okay, but you can clean this up and make it look a lot better. Today, I'm not going to do that because I'm sure you don't want to watch me do that. It'll take a little bit of time to do that, but it will make the thing look better. But see, I have a little white outline around all of this, so you really don't want that. So I want to go back to Edit and Free Transform, and we're going to make this guy a little bit smaller. Now, you, you notice how you can change like the proportions there. Um, if you hold down the shift key, and this is how it used to be in Photoshop, but I don't know, you know it's, it doesn't change it any. Um, but it used to be able to hold down the shift key and it would change the, um, it would keep the proportions it proportional. That doesn't seem to work. Now I've got this free button and fix button. So if I get the fix button, it keeps it proportional. And if I get the free button here, then I can change and, and make it not proportional, make it taller or whatever. Okay. Um, so that's definitely not what I want. So I want to go with the fixed. Like I said, Photoshop, they changed that. It used to be a, a certain way, and they changed it up a bit um, in the newer versions. And I only have the older version because I'm a teacher, and we don't have, like, expensive things. So... 
Okay, so I've got that. Let me hit return and see if that will. No, I think I have to. Um, if I click away, what happens here? Yeah, I'm not sure why I have this white space. I must have not deleted that. Look at that. I didn't delete that white space. So let's get the magic wand out here and get that. Whoops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back and make sure I'm on the dog layer. That's the problem. I wasn't on the dog layer. And deselect. Okay. So now we put our dog in there. And we can, like I said, we can change the size of them if we want to. We can change the position of the dog. Um, maybe we want them down here. Sometimes I've noticed, though, that when I get a picture and it's like these pictures are kind of more dull and this one's a little bit more bright, what you might want to do is come up here to the adjustments and take a look at some of these adjustments. Maybe you want to change like the contrast and brightness. And this is something you can just try and try to change it so it matches, you know, the, um, the picture, you know, and you can see how I can change this here. I, I don't want to change that though. I want to keep that about the same, but I could change the brightness or contrast. You know, I wouldn't want a dog like that. It definitely looks like it doesn't belong. But, um, you know, you might even want to change this up to make it look a little bit more real. Um, also, you know, you can change the coloring here. If you go to adjustments and um, you can go to the color balance and you can make some changes there too. Um, but for this example here, I don't know that I need that. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, there are some other things. Whoops. That you will come on now. That's again. That's my mouse or my Mac. Um, there's some other things you can do to make this a little bit more real and not look like a cutout. Um, and we're going to talk about those in other uh, videos, um, like adding shadows and maybe making um, parts of the dog darker or lighter. You can do that too, and we'll talk about that in another video. Okay, so uh, for this assignment here, what I'd like you to do is I'm going to put these pictures on my web page. You can go get them off my web page, and I want you to do your own version of this. And you can place, make the dog as big as you want, place it where you want. You can place the airplane bigger or smaller if you want. Like to, uh, You know what would be cool is if you angled this airplane. Not that they would be like really cool, but... Um, I think I can angle this. Why can't I angle this? Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Bad news. You're not looking good for this airplane. He's going down. So maybe we can angle it down. You could do some different things if you want to. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually make this airplane go behind this hill. And to do that, you'd have to split this picture into two parts. But, um, but it could be kind of cool if you guys are... Uh, want to be uh, adventurous, um, here's how you would do it. You would take the, the, the uh, layer and you want to um, duplicate it, okay? And then one on one layer, and we're going to turn that layer off on this layer here. You could go and um, take your eraser, or you could use the magic wand, whatever you think would work best for you. And you could erase parts of it. Okay, so let's assume that I want to make this bigger. And these are things you're going to have to just try out and see how it works for you. So let's assume that I want to separate like the, the land, the horizon line is kind of like right here where this hill is. I could separate that and um, I could have... Um, the sky, whoops, that's just a little bit too much. Okay, so we're going to have to cut that back. I don't think I want that size there. Let's try something a little smaller. Okay, and I could cut away this stuff here. And the reason why you're seeing black is because... Um, it is because I don't have any white background behind there. And I could cut away this. Now it would take a little bit of work to get this just right and come in here. Um, but if you did that, what you could do, and I'm going to just do this very crudely. Okay, 
I could take my plane, put it down here, and then put this over the plane. Okay, and let's move my plane again. Whoops, not that. Uh, let's get the plane, the plane. You guys don't even know what I'm talking about. Again. Where's my plane? There it is. Darn it. Okay, so I'm going to take my plane and bring it up here real quick. Move it a little bit more. Now I'm going to move that above that, okay? So I could turn this layer back on, and you can see if I did it right, I'd have to do it a little bit better than that. I did it right, it could look like it's going down behind that hill. So um, just something to kind of mess around with if you want. Um, I'm going to go back because I'm... I really didn't want that. Oops, I have to go way back to do that. So here's what I'll do is I'll just delete this layer, this layer right here. Okay, then I'm going to turn this one on, put this one back on. Okay, I'm back to where I was. Okay, because I don't have that much history. I only have that, I did a lot of racing there, so I don't have a lot of history. Um, so I couldn't do it that way. So I had to delete that layer. Okay, so once you're done with that, here's what I want you to do is I want you to uh, save it as a JPG, and you can put photo edit and then your last name, download it, and you'll turn in that JPEG for your assignment. Okay, that is it for today. I will see you guys later.